to go. Not safe. Not fair. Not safe. Not fair. Not safe. Not fair. Not safe. Not fair. I think we're all really devastated that it's come to this. I think we really hope that there would be some compromise and that the government would come back and want to talk with the BMA. Nobody wants to be on strike. Everybody wants to be at work providing the best care that we possibly can. But at the moment. We don't think we will be able to provide the best care we possibly can on the new contract that's being given to us and we think it will be ultimately incredibly dangerous. We both work in a really high risk area anyway. Um, the Labour Board is a very high risk area to provide care and so if you're tired it's not safe and it's not safe for women and it's not safe for babies. We work really hard to make it safe. We think that this contract could devastate that in one very easy manoeuvre. Their fight to defend the NHS is exactly the same as ours to defend state comprehensive education. So we think it's absolutely appropriate that teachers and doctors here are fighting together. People are worried about the fact that we've removed our emergency care, but actually, you know, in our hospital in particular, there's never been more consultants on the ground. And actually, you know, they are more than capable of looking after patients. And if anything, the patients are getting a better deal than they normally would. I mean, we've got people being seen by three or four consultants in A&E, you know, just sort of routine problems. We've had a lot of support from all the consultants in the whole hospital. In our maternity department, our consultants have unfortunately had to cancel the planned elective service. Um, so clinics and theatre lists have been cancelled in order for them to be able to safely cover the um, emergency services and actually today I think it's probably one of the safest days with respect to having such good level of senior cover on the ground in, in order for us to be able to demonstrate publicly how unsafe things could potentially be with the imposition of this contract. And I think the midwives are 100% behind us. The midwives will be pulling their weight amazingly today, there's no doubt about that. Because they know that ultimately if our contract goes through, then it's other NHS staff it's their contract that will be next. It's really important that we keep fighting for the future of this health service because actually if we give in then this contract will be imposed and realistically there's no way they can have seven day elective services so they're going to have to outsource it to private companies. So actually we're doing it for patients because of that major rates and actually we're not going to stop until that gets sorted. The doctors obviously got the support and the respect of all working class trade unionists because we see the health service is our health service and we can see rich kids like David Cameron and Osborne and Jeremy Hunt trying to destroy our health service. The truth be known, they probably don't use it very much and they'd like to privatise it completely just like they want to privatise our schools. There's a number of Tory MPs, something like 70 Tory MPs that are in the pay of private, private health companies and it's their ultimate aim to privatise it and that's why us as the RMT are here to defend the National Health Service. The attacks are happening to all of us in the public sector, not just the doctors, it's happening right across the board and obviously everybody needs the NHS, everybody uses the NHS and the NHS fight is our fight. Save our NHS! Save our NHS! The NHS is absolutely safe in the hands of those who work in it. The professionals have given their lives to it. The junior doctors who work day in, day out to keep us all safe and healthy. It's not safe in the hands of a government that's more interested in attacking those who work in the NHS, selling off its assets and destroying the very principles of our National Health Service. All of us here today, teachers, doctors, NHS workers, are probably the last remaining representatives of the social democratic consensus. We are the custodians of a powerful idea. And that idea is that everyone, everyone in this nation, has a right to a flourishing life. that we together are the bedrock of that social democratic consensus is the very reason why this government is gum gunning for us, why they're coming after us and they're throwing everything they can at us. We have members, many of them low paid, who work in the Department of Health headquarters. They're not Jeremy Hunt, they're low paid civil servants. And I want the BMA to know that they've been giving out stickers, your leaflets, and raising support for the strike inside that building. This contract that Hunt is trying to impose is unfair and it's unsafe. Our message 
is that Jeremy Hunt has lost the confidence of the profession if he ever had it. And for that reason, I think that we should be saying loudly and clearly, Jeremy Hunt must go. If need be, we will take this as far as it needs to be taken. In standing up for ourselves as doctors, we stand up for our other NHS worker colleagues. We stand up for the viability of the NHS into the future. To those junior doctors who've gone on strike today, you are the heroes and heroines of this struggle to save the NHS. We want to thank you for what you do every day to treat the patients and keep them safe, give succor and comfort to our communities, our families. We want to thank you for that. But also, I just want to say this. I want to thank you for having the courage to stand up to hunt and the bullying of this government. You've shown the way. Can I say also to the teachers that are out there as well, if and when they come for you, we will be with you as well. It is Cameron and Osborne who have most to fear. It is their politics of austerity which is on trial here. They can be in no doubt now that we junior doctors are really serious. Our resolve is gaining us public support, not losing it. Our profession is becoming more unified, not less unified. And as you can see here today, we are closer to our trade union allies than we have ever been. This machine that I have hanging around my neck is a battery device that keeps me alive because I have a mechanical heart while I'm waiting for a heart transplant. Now, two years ago, I was admitted as an emergency for a life-saving operation. Now, that operation was undertaken by NHS doctors, by nurses, by our support staff. They saved my life. They were absolutely magnificent. And let me say something about those doctors. My surgeon was from China. My cardiologist was from India. My junior doctor was from Croatia. So I say, thank God those migrants came to this country. And when, when we see people now in the squalor of Calais, who's not to say that's not the next heart surgeon, teacher or doctor, and we should be more compassionate. You know, I also want to say this, I was in hospital for months. My life was saved by NHS staff. And you know something? I happened to be in hospital seven days a week for 13 consecutive weeks. And you know what? Nobody turned the lights out on Saturday. Nobody said, we're not feeding you today, son. No doctor didn't come round. I had service every day of the week. So Jeremy Hunt is lying when he says this is about a seven-day NHS. There's always been a seven-day NHS. I want to finish by reading out to you the original words of the leaflet distributed to every single household in Britain at the inception of the NHS in 1948. The NHS will provide you with all medical, dental and nursing care. Everyone, rich or poor, man, woman or child, can use it or any part of it. There are no charges except for a few special items. But it is not a charity. You are all paying for it, mainly as taxpayers. And it will relieve your money worries in times of illness. So there you have it. In those five simple lines of this little leaflet, we managed to see the ideas of universality, equality, redistribution, and perhaps most importantly, of freedom. Freedom from the fear of catastrophic healthcare costs and freedom from the condescension of charity. These words are what this fight is all about. That's why we junior doctors are fighting. Stand by us. Thank you.